Good afternoon. We're back with some more Slay the Spire. In episode two, lessons were learned. Not a lot of progress was made. We'll continue to play Ironclad and try out different things, see what works and what doesn't. The Barricade build, at least what I tried, I think Barricade might be a better card late game. It's a bit clunky in the early game using three energy. Enemies in your next three combats have one HP, max HP plus eight. Okay. Was the monster talking trash because my last one was so bad? Well, lessons were learned. Here we go. Earl OP. Okay. These early fights seem pretty quick generally. And let's see. What there is to see here. Spot weakness. Intimidate battle trance. The enemy intends to attack, gain three strength. That seems pretty good. Battle Trance I liked, but only in combination with, uh, what was it, that upgrade card. So I'm going to go with Spot Weakness. Sorry, I had to pause for a moment there to adjust my settings. You find a shimmering mass of light encompassing the center of the room. Its warm glow and enchanting patterns invite you in. Upgrade two random cards, lose 18 HP. Uh... I don't think I have cards that I really want to upgrade. I guess I could do it. It's two random cards, though. As you walk through the light, you notice that the light is absorbed into you. It's scorching hot. However, the pain quickly recedes. You feel invigorated, as you, as though you received a well-deserved slap. I don't know about well-deserved. Here we go. Okay, so I can gain plus three strength. It's not really that good at the moment. Okay, so... See if we can recover some of the HP. You get six at the end of each combat. In this case, I can spot weakness. Uh, did it? Was it necessary? No, probably not. So I got a duplicate potion. Rampage, clothesline. It deal eight damage. Increase this card's damage by five this combat. That seems good. Scales up for longer fights. I like it. The enemy doesn't intend to attack, so... Uh, we can go bash and then rampage. Just take the six damage. 
Or I can defend here and just take one damage. I don't know that this combat's going to be long enough. Rampage may come around again. But I'd rather have plus five damage later or plus five health now. I think I would rather have plus five health now. So he is escalating his damage. But he's dead. Shrug it off, anger. Anger and iron wave seem like good early game cards. I like shrug it off though. It's very cost efficient. So let's head for the path that has the rest after the elite instead of elite and then more enemy. Uh, let's see. So far spot weakness has been meh. Drug it off. Rampage will take him out. Defend. Rampage came around again. Rampage was quite good there. There's a body slam. Uh, Armaments is good when you upgrade it, but I loved Whirlwind. Well, I'm a little light on HP here. Uh, so he's going to attack for 14. Spot weakness. Doesn't do that much. Uh, let's go shrug it off. Uh, let's go duplication potion. Entropic brew. Whenever you play a skill gains two strength, that's rough. And then we'll go vulnerable. Play the top three cards of your draw pile. So that would be random, I guess. That could be quite good. What do we got in there? Anything powerful? Uh, let's go duplication. And then rampage. Strike. Distilled chaos. Okay, so the Whirlwind, I was wondering what it would do. It just doesn't do anything. Doing science. Can I deal 28 damage here? No. He's going to do 33. Ouch. Can deal 
eight and nine is seventeen. Well, I'm just gonna eat the damage. Finish him off next round. Whenever you use a potion, heal 5 HP. Okay. Pommel. Gain 2 energy. Gain 2 strength. I like that, seeing red. And now we'll heal. Sure. Actually, don't know. Don't think that was the most efficient use of my energy. I'm not sure. How much did I deal? Just 20, right? Yeah, I don't think that was that good. Should have thought about that more. Spot weakness will give me 11 damage, that's just short. Can I draw into a victory? I don't think so. So he goes back up to 10. No problem. Draw a card, put a card from your hand onto the top of your draw pile. Clash seems too niche. Warcry could be situationally good. We'll just go with the strike. Start of your third turn, gain 18 block. That seems quite good. You fall into a puddle, it's made of slime goop. Okay, so it's the gold thing. I think I'll just take the 40 gold loss. Eh, let's take the 75. I think I'm doing okay in terms of HP and whatnot because there's a arrest spot right there. So these dudes are going to do some damage. Let's get a vulnerable on that guy. It's already vulnerable. Oh, did I float an energy there? Whoops. That was a big mistake. So I just gained 18 block on a turn when they're not going to attack me. Whirlwind. I think spot weakness is good here, but they don't intend to attack, so... Yep, Whirlwind was good there. Flex, Reckless Charge, 
Rupture. Whenever you lose HP from a card, gain one strength. I don't think I have any cards that take away my HP right now. I want to try it though. Before you lies an elaborate shrine to a forgotten spirit. Remove a card from your deck. Sure, we could take out one of these defends. Okay. Go to the merchant and see what there is to see. So what does the merchant have? Anger, twin strike, offering. Offering seems interesting. Uh, flex, metallicize. Purity, exhaust up to three cards in your hand, and Hand of Greed. Deal 20 damage if Fatal gain 20 gold. Purity doesn't seem very good. Um, hand of Greed seems okay. Offering seems good though. Lose 6 HP for 2 energy and draw 3 cards and it costs 0. Seems really good. Enemies in elite combats have 25% less HP. Pawn pickup gain 2 potions. Gain 2 potion slots. Combat reward screens now contain colorless cards and cards from other colors. That's interesting. Prismatic Shard. Hmm. I'm not really sure what colorless cards do though, so let's definitely get Offering. And then Thinking about preserved insect, I don't know if it's that good. It seems kind of like a third tier card. Prismatic shard, I just have no idea about. I don't know enough about the game to know if that's good. Colorless cards. Don't even know what colorless cards are. So let's leave it at that for now. So you can rest, go into the boss fight with full HP. On upgraded whirlwind is definitely not as good as upgraded whirlwind. That is for sure. So seeing red go strike. Preparing a 35 attack. Let's go offering. Okay, so we can do a lot here. First, let's get the defense up. That's taken care of. Now we got 
bash rampage offering seems really really good Okay, so he split. So here we'll go whirlwind. Doing good so far. But I have used my, up my most powerful cards. Um, well, gonna need some, and my, my frail is gonna hurt. So get, first let's shrug it off, always draw first, strike, rampage, okay he's going to attack for 7, the slimes hurt. This should be doable though. Okay, should be fine. I should have done the spot weakness first, but it actually didn't matter. Okay. Got him. Double tap. Pervious. I like double tap a lot. During boss and elite combats, gain energy at the start of your turn. Gain, obtain a unique curse and three relics. That seems... Like, it could be crazy good, depending on what you get. Gain energy at the start of your turn. You can no longer smith at rest sites. Boy, these are actually all pretty good. I have no idea what the best one is. Fusion hammer. Calling bell. Uh, probably between those two. I think extra energy is really, really strong and it scales up well into the late game. Do I care if I can no longer smith? Let's take the fusion hammer. Okay. Got a lot of gold, I would like to merchant.
and strike. Yeah, that extra energy is just huge. deal 20. That would kill this guy. It's better than blocking, I think. I don't think I need to uh, offering in this one. Save my HP. Definitely should have spotted weakness though. That was a huge mistake. Big mistake there. It's not gonna hurt me, I guess, because I'm not gonna lose any extra HP here. Still. It's good to be in good habits. Deal 12 damage can be upgraded any number of times. Body slam. Sure. And let's go see what the merchant's got. So we got a secret weapon. Put an attack from your draw pile into your hand. It's a good combo card. Scales should scale up well. Perfected strike. I've liked that in the past. It's very efficient. Body slam. Why couldn't I find any body slams last game? Gain five block, upgrade a card in your hand. Gain seven block, exhaust one card at random. Let's go with secret weapon. I mean, flash of steel seems pretty good too. Every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain one strength. When you would die, heal to 50% of your max HP instead. Only works once. Unplayable status cards can now be played whenever you play a status card exhausted. I think the shuriken seems strong. But I can't afford shuriken and secret weapon. Let's go with shuriken. A man with an eye patch and a devilish grin strides up to you. Hey there, stranger. Interested in advanced science? Can make you stronger than any training or blessing. You're going to need it if you're one of those heroes with a death wish. Get jaxed. Lose 3 HP. Gain 2 strength. That actually seems really, really strong. Obtain a special relic. Start each combat with 3 strength. At the end of your first turn, lose 3 strength. That seems bad. Let's do this. Excellent. The man hands over a dangerous looking syringe filled with a glowing liquid before sulking off into a shadowy alleyway. Uh, I don't need the merchant again. Let's go the enemy route. Or maybe question mark. Question mark, question mark, rests probably the easiest. Let's take this path. I want to test out my... I'm testing out stuff, so... I'm okay with... Maybe not getting as far as I otherwise could. And then we'll just defend. Oh, I forgot I have extra damage. I don't have anything to combo with Rupture yet. I'm hoping I will get options that will allow me to. Does that stick around in between turns? We're doing science. I 
does, apparently. Okay. Sixteen damage or nine damage four times. Okay. Metallicize. That seems strong to me. Upgraded metallicize, body slam. We'll take it. Okay, I want to use some of these potions. It's just fire potion. Uh, Jax. Do I need offering? Will it save me more than it costs me? I mean, I have a lot of energy, so I think I'm going to do it. Shrug it off. Go for a whirlwind play here. He gets a lot of block when he gets damaged. I only have one attack. So I will do that. And we'll go defenses. Okay. Choose an attack or power, add two copies of that card. I like that. Combust at the end of your turn, lose one HP and deal five damage to all enemies. I like that too. Wow, those are both really good, I think. I'm going to go with the synergistic one though, just because I want to try it. Well, I can't smith, so I only have one choice. And we get a test against an elite. Jax. Defend. Start getting Rampage ramped up. Either of these do the same thing. Twin Strike I'll probably thin out of the deck at some point. So I'll get some HP back here. Offering. Where's my Synergy card when I need it? Uh, he's going to attack for 12. Shrug it off. Okay, there's Rupture. Rupture. Defend. Defend. Double attack. So we'll get ramped up here. Seeing red. Seems to be going okay. Uh, spot weakness. Now this is all offense. This should be the last turn, right? Uh, 
I probably didn't need to jax, that was a waste of HP. Tungsten Rod, ooh, that seems really strong. Sever Soul, exhaust all non-attack cards in your hand, deal 16 damage. It costs 2, apply 3 weak and vulnerable to all enemies. I've liked that in the past, so go with that. Okay, be right back. Okay, we're back and continuing. Do I need to rest now? Rest, treasure, rest, elite seems like an interesting path. I kind of like that. The, the extra rest is kind of overkill. Bag of marbles. Wait, what did that do? At the start of each combat, apply vulnerable one to all enemies. Okay, that seems good. Rest again. Kind of wish I could smith there, but... I don't regret taking the extra energy at the start of combat. It seems really good. You can start with Rupture. You can go Combust. Let's go Offering first. This is a pretty good opening hand, it seems like. Uh, so we got Combust. I think I want to cycle Rampage. And then we'll just whirlwind. Very strong. Nearly killed that bad guy on turn one. This seems to me like the strongest build I've made so far with this character. But we'll see if it gets far. Um, let's see. I don't think spot weakness is the thing here. Go defend, defend, strike. Okay, seeing red. Shrug it off. Shockwave. Okay. So it did take a lot of damage here. More than I would have liked. You can no longer become weakened. Great. Lose 3 HP. Okay, that synergizes. Juggernaut, whenever you gain block, deal 5 damage to a random enemy. No synergy there. Deal 8 damage to all enemies. I'm going to go with the take damage synergy, and we'll see how it goes. Oh, that was an elite? Oh, no wonder I lost HP. So that went okay, actually. Uh, let's go this route. Target off first. Talisize. Shockwave. So he's doing zero times five? Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see red. Bash. Whirlwind. Bloodletting. I don't have a use for the extra energy right now. And I don't have synergy with the losing HP yet, so just defend, defend, and kill that enemy.
Double tap. Rampage. It's going to get off a big attack, though. Ouch. Uh, so there's my synergy, but it's too late. Fight's over. Twin Strike I don't really like. Body Slam, situationally good. I guess it's always going to do like 6 damage, right? Because, well, no, not always. Definitely not always. It would if I gained 6 block at the beginning of my turn. At the start of your third turn, gain 18 block. It could be good then. I'll take a Body Slam. I'll, I think it's better than these other two. Scaling the city, you notice a wall covered in the writing of the ancients. As you try to wrap your he head around what the puzzling symbols and glyphs could mean, the writing begins to glow. Suddenly the message becomes clear. Upgrade all strikes and defends. Yes. None of them are really upgraded, so... Let's get them all. Shockwave. Do I need the defend? No. So I'll just double tap and rampage. That should be good. Did a lot of damage. Well, body slam's good in this spot. So I took a little bit more damage than I would like. I haven't really liked Pummel in the past. Flame Barrier gained 12 block whenever you're attacked this turn, deal 4 damage back. I like that. In Flame, gain 3 strength. Let's go with Flame Barrier. Okay, time for boss number 2. What's that do? Negates two debuffs, okay. Let's wait on the effects until after my synergy. So let's go one, two. Well, maybe I do want to combust. The synergy still comes through. Okay, spawn minions. He's going to attack for 14. Let's definitely shrug it off. Metallicize. Uh, go ahead and body slam. Do I want to focus on the orbs? I don't know that I do. Definitely should have bashed before I body slammed. That was a mistake. Which cost me like 6 damage. Oh. They're stealing my cards. Those are good cards. It's not cool. Then they attack for 8. Okay, definitely shockwave. Now they're attacking for six. Rampage. Defend. Oh, I didn't really need to defend. I have a lot of block. OK, 
Okay. Jax. Flame barrier. Let's see in red. Oh wait, I didn't need to do that. The strength should apply to the damage I return though, right? Does it? That was a really bad seeing red. That was really, really bad. Rupture, okay. 14, 14, 14. So I can kill this guy that's gonna do damage. Twin Strike does 20, so I can go... Let's do that. Not gonna be attacked this turn. So I'm gonna go... Let's see, these are 15. 22? Okay, I'll take that guy out. And then... I get Bloodletting and Flame Barrier. It doesn't seem that good, though. I'll just float them in, I think. He's gonna attack for 51. Fifty one's gonna hurt. Can't take that again. Fifteen damage four times would be sixty. So you go like this. It's gonna be close. We'll see. It's gonna do 26. Spot weakness. Hopefully next turn I kill him, but we'll see. Definitely need to be using these. Uh, I didn't need to use it right then, though. <laughs> that was silly. Uh, 22, 19, yeah, I'll just finish him. I think, right? No, I don't finish him. Uh, Close, but no. That's fine, though. Oh, I forgot about the uh, combustion. Okay, well. Whenever you gain block, deal 5 damage. Gain 30 block, double your strength. Let's do limit break. Pawn pickup, remove 2 cards from your deck. Pawn pickup, transform 3 cards, then upgrade them. They become a random card of any rarity. No, I don't like that. That's really interesting. It has anti-synergy with my healing from potions thing. But this scales up so well. I think I'm going to get it. So I can't use energy and I can't smith. I do want to visit the merchant. Uh, let's go this path here.
lifelink if other okay so you have to kill them all at the same time I don't need seeing red at the moment Double your strength, it's only one at the moment. I'm gonna double tap the shrug it off. Wait, it didn't work? Is it only a specific type? Let's go bash. Oh, right. It's probably it says your next attack, and I wasn't paying attention. Body slam. Strike. You're gonna take a lot of damage here. Give me a whirlwind. Okay, so none of them are doing anything, so we just go... Would like to thin my deck out a little bit in some cases. We'll do that at the Merchant. Do I need Offering? Whirlwind will do 8 times 5 is 40 damage. That should kill everything. Iron Wave plus Body Slam. Uh, that's actually hard. I don't really want any of these. I guess the second Body Slam. Let's go offering. Shrug it off. Flame barrier. Yeah, it does say your next attack, so that was my mistake. Bash. Seeing red. Same difference there. Uh, okay, I could spot weakness here. Spot weakness may actually have some uses now that I've got a lot of energy. Okay. Gain 7 block, exhaust 1 card at random, deal 9 damage, draw 1 card. If the enemy intends to... no, I don't really like spot weakness enough to take another one. Just pommel strike. Ooh, the random was a... a rare relic. Or I can leave. I want the rare relic, we'll do it. I use a potion to do it. Offering. Okay, I want to bash first. Body slam. Actually, we'll draw a card first. Pommel strike. Now body slam. I 
and then just do regular strikes here. This is a strong turn. Metallicize. Combust. I'll first shrug it off. Combust. Don't need bloodletting this turn. Defend. That's all I can do. I was hoping to kill this one this turn, but what can you do? Um, so, just kill this guy. Defend, spot weakness, body slam. Whirlwind, 9 times 5 is 45 damage. Maybe Shockwave was the better play there, I'm not really sure. But at least it's going to be a victory for a rare relic. Whenever you play three or less cards during your turn, draw three additional cards. Oh, that's... eh. That wasn't worth. Swift Potion, I can't acquire potions anymore. I think Shrug It Off is the way to go there. Helps me to use my extra energy. Merchant, okay. Twelve, let's look at the relics. At the start of each combat, draw two additional cards. Meh. Every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain one dexterity. Dexterity improves block. Fifty percent discount on all products. That seems strong. That seems very strong. Um, okay. Battle Trance, Dark Embrace. Whenever a card is exhausted, draw one card. Spot Weakness, no. Anger, no. Clothesline, eh. Finesse. So that's just a cycle card. Chrysalis. Shuffle three random skills into your draw pile. They cost zero. This combat. Um, let's do some card removal first. I want to remove Twin Strike. Oh, you can only do that once. Okay. Um, is Chrysalis good? Three random skills into your draw pile. Yeah, that's hard to say. Three random skills into your draw pile, they cost zero. Eh, it seems okay. I think we're gonna go with Battle Trance. It may not scale that well, but it seems decent. I'm kind of low on HP, so I'm not going to fight the Elite. going to hope to get through this quickly, and then rest. Shrug it off. Combust. Pommel. 
Rupture defend. Limit break. I haven't gotten a good use of limit break yet. Spot weakness. This is a bad hand. This is a really bad hand. I didn't actually die here. Save me potions. Oh, but I can't. I didn't know it would block those two. Hmm. Uh oh. Well, the spot weakness. Limit break. Double tap. No, that was my only hope. Oh, combust saves the day. Now I live. And then that 18. Wow, that's really good. Okay. Now I'm alright. Um, let's draw the cards. Let's go Flame Barrier, Battle Trance, I want to make sure I do things in the right order. Can I just kill this guy? 48 damage I need. Forty-five right now. If I vulnerable him, I kill him, or I could just strike. Let's see. I think I have enough energy for everything I need with like the seeing red and whatnot. So let's go shockwave. Let's go. Body slam. Seeing red. Strike, strike. Okay. It was close. Deal 12 damage, put a card from your discard pile on top of your draw pile. Deal 8 damage, deal 8 damage to all enemies. Uh, let's, we'll go with headbutt. There's combo potential there. And now a much needed rest. Which path leads to resting? I'll go with the question mark. Navigating through the beyond, you discover a glowing tesseract spinning and shifting gently in the air. You touch it. A sharp pain flows through you, followed by vivid flashes of a distant memory. Whose memories are these? Uh, okay. Apply two weak. Gain six block. Uh... We'll go with the synergistic one, I think. You've proven yourself. Standing victoriously, you wait in silence as the other ceremoni ceremoniously place the creature's heart on top of your head. The ritual is concluded. You head toward the spire. Okay, that's going to be that for this video. And we'll pick this run up at the start of the next one. And thank you for watching.